and welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 4. So like I said in the previous video, um, this is going to be like a sem semi um, fast run. It's not really a speed run because, um, okay, give me a sec. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Yeah, so he's gonna tell us about the blue medallion. If you shoot 10, he's gonna give us a free handgun. And then I don't want to talk to him yet because there's something at the back of the shed. So yeah, sometimes you can get you know, items like healing items or money. Sometimes there isn't anything there. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him. Um, just gonna Welcome. just gonna fast forward it. Give me a sec. What are you selling? Okay, so I've bought what I need and upgraded what I needed. Um, to be honest, I kind of don't really need the rifle scope right now, but hey, I already bought it. So, yeah, um, the first thing that we want to do is take out at least some of the Granados uh, from a distance because um, from the route that I'm going to be taking, it's going to be essential. But once they actually like swarm out, I don't think that's gonna matter but i want to take out at least a few of them especially the ones um these guys at the distance because they're gonna be um i don't know like a, a pain later although i'm not sure if i'm just gonna like get what i need here and then run but we'll see so yeah um like I said in the previous video, this is... Okay, once you hear the music, that means they spotted you, so we need to get out. Or at least, um, go... Go into the, the area. Because if not... Yeah, um, we're gonna have... We're gonna have a hard time, um, on the steps over here. So what I wanna do... Is I wanna go... Yeah, see? There, there isn't any one here just yet. But if you take too long to actually like get out of the area, okay. Uh, if if you take too long to get out of that area, you're, you're they're gonna swarm you. So okay, just head up here real quick. I think there's a granado here, so better take him out. Ah, damn. Okay, we're fine. Nice. Yeah, I'm kind. I'm still having like a hard time controlling controlling Leon because uh, this. Oh, okay, good. This gameplay was recorded um, along with the first gameplay, so I'm still I'm still getting there. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna run for it and then just grab the I don't know if you can call them emblems um, and just get out of this area but I I want to take like the, the yellow herb from the shack at the distance um, for this one you can just shoot the barrel it's gonna take care of him and then just take the, the treasure chest um, for the other granados they're gonna be they're gonna they're, they're not gonna catch up immediately because they're gonna chase you up here so that that should buy us enough time okay so let's jump here and then i want to go into this shack because there's i think there's money and then there's always going to be like a yellow herb in here so take that because we need that for um maximum health upgrade for leon and then um there, there should be like a couple of like ammo at the back but i'm not gonna get that so i'm just gonna go directly here and let's go see like most of the area if you actually want 
you could get past them in like maybe three minutes or less if you're gonna ignore um all of the granados like you could just basically basically skip them if you want but yeah um like resident evil 4 is like one of the, my like go-to games sometimes it kind of gets boring because like you know there, there's not really any challenge anymore but at the same time it, it's always gonna be a classic so okay um it might be like one of the games that i'm gonna be visiting yearly i'm not sure what i'm gonna do next year but it's fun to get back to every now and then so all right for this one what i usually do is i go to this position and then i just like try to um take care of them from a distance before they actually swarm me but if they do come near i just pull out the shotgun and then you know just just create more distance um well that worked oh well uh huh i think that should take care of yeah that that should take care of the okay not yet okay okay so there is another section in this area um what i want to do is because like like we have um hand grenades right so what I usually do is I take out one and then um, once you jump through the window, automatically couch because you're going to throw uh, dynamite at you. And then just throw the grenade at them. That should take care of them. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So be careful because there are bear traps um, around here. There's always going to be like an extra Granado at the other side of the door. It's either one or two. I'm kind of not sure. Because whenever I come to this area, like uh, they always come out to me. So like that. I think it's only one person. But there's, um, there's going to be another one at the very bottom of the... I guess the... I don't know, like the 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 ramp. It's not exactly stairs, so I'm not sure. But yeah, um, the music it is isn't gonna stop until we actually kill that dude. But um, sometimes he does come up here if like he hears the noise. But other times he just stays down there until you actually get a chance to kill him. So I'm kind of just checking if he's gonna come up or not I guess I guess not yeah okay I just want to be careful just in case I don't really hear him so I'm just gonna go yeah don't forget to get the I think the elegant mask because we could sell that once we get all of the the jewels for it Okay, so there are a few, um, I don't know, like crates or barrels here. Another one, yeah, there. And then just go. This area is kind of deceptive in a way because once you kill the guy at the bottom of um, the tunnel, I guess, the music is gonna stop. Yeah, see, but there is another, like, Granado just beyond that point. So, um, I'm just gonna, let me just arrange this first. Okay, so there should be another one there see i mean he it's he's the only one here so it shouldn't really matter and then after this one um what i usually do is throw a grenade um down here because there's like fish that we can get and 
for me it's like necessary for the next uh the next area because we're gonna be fighting something if you don't already know we're gonna be fighting um a giant i think salamander a lago okay so give me a sec Yeah, so the reason that I want to like get the fish here is because um I don't want to waste any healing items that we may gather. So for this one there are three crows. What I usually do is um fire this one to get the two crows instantly. And then remember to always shoot this before shooting the pendant. Was it a pendant? Oh, pocket watch, okay. Because again, if you shoot the pocket watch first without actually closing the dirty well, Leon is not gonna pick that up. I mean, I wouldn't either if it was that dirty, but yeah. So. Um, well, like you said in the first video, um, this isn't gonna be like a dilly-dallying kind of gameplay for our E4. I'm not even gonna pretend that I haven't played this or I'm not familiar with things here. Just it's like I don't know. It's that's stupid. So I'm just gonna try my best to get um a good sense of the gameplay. Or at least the controls and then hopefully it's gonna serve me well. I think it's all muscle memory. The the thing about this is that it's quite an old game or you could consider it as a classic yeah so this is um i think saddler no 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 uh chief mendez okay You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood. Alright, so that's the end of chapter 2. Yeah, see, I, I kind of didn't really go around killing them all. Because I want to get through as much as possible. Or fa get through as fast as possible. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah, but he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh, interesting. Anyway. There are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. All right. So there's also like, um, if you if you don't know, um, no. There's like, ah, uh, give me a sec. Okay. Yeah. If you come back inside this room, there's gonna be another cutscene.
Okay, so it's painfully obvious that that was Ada. Um, that's, I think, uh, her separate ways uh, game. Okay, so there is a Granado inside here. Just be careful. It's not that hard. Again, just aim at the kneecaps and then knife away. So, was it, what was I trying to say earlier? Um, yeah, I kind of always wanted to see uh, how fast I can clear the game. I'm not, not really like a full speedrun, but this is going to be maybe a semi, like I said, a, a semi speedrun. I just want to see how fast I can clear um, the areas, I think, without actually... Uh, how should I say it? this? Without... Like wasting time or or like maybe just working efficiently and how yeah I can't I, I can't really I, I need everything okay well let me go ahead and kill the people outside and then we'll go back with the egg I mean for the egg okay so it's fairly easy you could either deal with um I think Dr. Salvador, I think he, if I'm not mistaken, his name, he's called Dr. Salvador. Yeah, so you could either just deal, okay, we, we don't have any more, okay, well, we have this. So yeah, there there's like two, two ways to deal with him. One is outside, this one. The other one is, you like, you go inside the house and then make your stand on the stairs. Either way. Um, let me fast forward this one. Okay, yeah, so that's it. Um, he should drop, yeah, a ruby. So I'm gonna go back inside the house to get the egg because I'm gonna need that. And I think at this point, like, I I should have, like, bought the, the TMP, but... Yeah, I don't have any room. Hmm. What should I get rid of? Give me a sec. I'm just gonna leave the egg. I mean, it's not really worth losing uh, a grenade. I mean, I kind of was thinking of, like, discarding the, the frag grenade, but it's gonna come in handy later. So, yeah, um, it's gonna be, like, a few villagers here. Uh, if you kill these two, um, the, the villagers by the end of the road isn't really gonna notice until you actually, like, try to shoot at least, at least one of them. So, yeah. Um, there are two birds nest here that you can take. I think one is a spinel and then most of the time the, the other one would be like a bullet for I think the TMP. I'm not sure. I think it's up here. It's up. Wait, wait. Okay, let me just throw. Yeah, see there's the bird's nest. This, this area used to be overwhelming, but now it's like, I don't know, you kind of learn to deal with it. It's not that hard, I think. Anymore, at least. Yeah, it's a TMP. Huh, I had space. Nice. Well, I mean, I kind of did use the, 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 the flame, where was it called? Flame grenade, I forgot. Incendiary grenade. Um... Yeah, I mean, it was a good call not to actually get the TMP because I really, really don't have any space. Yeah. Then let me get, I think, this one. Because I really need this for, like, um health and stuff. That's going to come in handy for later bosses. 
Okay, so we're gonna go back to the village. It's gonna be full circle. Cause we already got the key to the to the church. So we're just gonna evade most of them. Oh, damn. Ooh, so Okay. So we're just gonna take a different route because obviously people are, wa are wanting to kill us. So or just like lead them around so they're gonna follow you and you you have like enough time to actually go into the church um you can always like go around see if like there are any more items but i'm not gonna do that okay we're just gonna be taking items um i wanna just shoot okay Cause there's like sometimes there's a snake in there. I, I don't know at which point of the game they're they're gonna put snake inside there. But yeah, um I'm usually just cautious if I remember like there's something fishy. And then there is a spinel on in this lamp. So just wait for it to go out and then just take it, and then go down. Like, this would be, like, one of the own, like, maybe, like, the only game that I'm so, like, I've already memorized without intending to memorize it. I don't know. Okay. Just. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, the treasures in this cave isn't gonna show up unless you take or shoot the lamp because I, I think I missed it a couple of times the first time I played Resident Evil so yeah hello Murchy got something that might interest you it's a flasher got a selection of good give me a sec what are you selling is that all <laughs> thank you is that all <laughs> thank you Ah, thank you. Ah, thank you. What are you buying? What are you buying? Thank you. Thank you. Is that all? What are you buying? Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna think the merchant's laugh is kind of funny. If he does it like continuously, but yeah, whatever. Um, we're gonna go up. And then there's actually yeah there's a, another bird's nest up here i kind of sold the the large bass because i i don't think i'm gonna need that for later um but the small the small bass the three small bass i'm gonna keep those because we are gonna be needing those for the boss fight with the another fish or a lizard i guess it's a lizard since it's a salamander but yeah um most of the the amulets or the blue medallions can be found um at the barn area and in this um i don't know uh church area i guess you can only find them here so there are only, I think, two two chances that you can get them before we actually leave the area. So I suggest that if you want the free gun, just go ahead and take it. Um, I think there are two villagers um, just around the entrance of the, the graveyard. I kind of sometimes just shoot the crows for additional money. Or spinel of them. Yeah. And I think in Ada's uh, separate ways, um, one of the gems for the elegant mask is found here. Okay, yeah, alright, so they've noticed us already. It's, it isn't really that hard, you just need to pace um, killing the Granados in this area. You have time to kill this one before the lady to the right actually shows up, so yeah. 
he's kind of slow. There. Just gonna take that before that fades. Yeah. So again, um, if you only have um one enemy to deal with, just go ahead and do what I did. Just kneecap the. Just kneecap them and then knife them when they're down. And it's it's gonna save you bullets. I'm just gonna get all of these because we're gonna be needing those later. And also, I kind of have like a habit of wanting to reload all of the um all of my guns. Okay, okay. All of my guns before proceeding to the next area. You know, just to be sure. So yeah, um, I am it's here, two, three, five, four in the church area, and then I think three of the blue medallions after after the church area. Is it one, two? I think five. Cause one near the house, two on the trees, and then I think another one near the, like the left side of the church hanging on a tree and then one at the back if i'm not mistaken yeah it would be good if you can like take out the the granada with the dynamite it's gonna be a pain later so yeah like so of course it's gonna get the attention of the others but again just pace yourself take them out one by one hit them in the kneecap and then just take care of them when they're down. I kinda don't want to knife him because I know that another one is coming. So, like, um, so? Okay, so we could just knife him. Oh yeah, um, there's an interesting fact about Resident Evil 4, um, with regards about the villagers. They are all voiced by one person. I kinda saw a video of that, it was kinda cool. He even voiced, like, the... The other... Um, the female, the female Granados, which is, I think, kind of cool. I hope he was compensated properly. I'm not sure, but there is, like, a, um, an Easter egg here. Like, um, w one of the tombstones in the graveyard says Camcom. I'm not sure if that was the one that I checked. But yeah. So for this, just take out the guy, because once he dies, the dynamite, like so, is gonna explode and take out the other one. And then there's something at the top. Okay, for the puzzle in this area, I really don't remember the code, so let me just um, go ahead and look that up after this. And give me a sec. Okay, so I found it, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the code on top of the screen, or down, I'm not sure, but it's, it's gonna be somewhere in the screen. For some reason, I've never, like, really remembered the code to this area, or to this, um, cat's eye, but, eh, that isn't, that doesn't really matter. Okay, let's take that, and then proceed to the next area. Ah, also for this area, you kind of need to check the door first. Um, give me a sec. I think Honey Gun is going to call us. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah. Sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her. Hurry! Yeah, so you kind of need to check the the door to the to the church first because I think there's like a specific dialogue for that. Um, later, although I'm kind of not sure. I've never actually checked it, except for I think the first or second time I played Resident Evil 4. But yeah, um, you don't really need to check it to trigger the dialogue. So, but it would be. Like just a tiny bit confusing if you don't check it because because of the dialogue but uh, other than that it's not gonna matter so yeah um there's i think three of the blue medallions here you could either get all of them or just 10 it doesn't really matter once you get 10 um oh nice 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 
I do remember that there's a snake here. So yeah, that that um that log was about the church and about the insignia um or the the key that you need to open the church. So yeah, uh, this is the last blue medallion. So once we um get all of this, I'm gonna talk to the merchant later to get the the free gun because it, like it it's more powerful than the current one that we have. It shoots to two enemies at once or penetrates to the second enemy or something. Okay, so usually for the next area, you kind of need a grenade, but I, I do remember using just um, a flash grenade and it worked a few a few years ago. Yeah, because there's... Uh, walk carefully, then just take this, because there's a bunch of um, murder here. So just throw that to get um, free coins. Ta-da! Like so. Yeah, there's going to be a fight here later. But we're not gonna waste time with the boss fight in this area. Um, yeah. I'll just show you later. I'm not gonna talk about it that much. So there's the f there's, blah, blah, blah. there's a few items here. I just need to get those. With this area, I'm um, actually if you if you wait long enough, remember the dog that we saved in like the f very first area of the game um if you take at least a few minutes enough or have trouble with the boss fight in this area he's gonna show up to help you to distract the uh, the, the the thing that we're gonna be fighting there also there's a reason why i did not take the barrels outside because uh, i want to take those once we <clears throat> actually need to do the boss fight so yeah um and let's go down there's gonna be a yeah that so just press um x or whatever your controller is and then just sprint and then this is also like one of the areas that i really can't get past through just because i can't push the button fast enough and yeah there's a spindle up there i'm not gonna be taking much time in this area because um, for one thing, I think there's two or three snakes in this area, which could attack you. But the only thing that we need to get in the area would, I think, be the the elegant pipe. Was it called the elegant pipe? But th there's a treasure in this area. Um, you don't really need to, like I said, waste a lot of time here, because. The granados here would be, yeah. I, I'm I'm not gonna finish that guy because he's just gonna walk into the the trap. Uh, okay. There's another one down there. Okay. So yeah. So there are crates in here. One of them contains a snake. Okay. Yeah. I, I shot the right one. And then this one, cause I, yeah, TMP. And then we're just gonna go, I think. I wanna get this, cause I think it's it's either a flasher grenade or just a regular grenade. Okay, a regular grenade. Take that. Uh uh, uh he's gonna come here. Yep. Like I said, no need to actually waste your bullets on here. Just take him out. Because there are like wire traps around here, so they can just like walk through it. Um, I'm just gonna hurry up and get the the pipe top of the tree. It's the only treasure here. Oh, nice. He missed. Okay, where is it? Okay, it's a pipe. Oh! And just go. I don't wanna like go up because there's um yeah you see uh, an explosive wired to the wall so yeah there are a few like crates in the shack I I i'm not gonna waste my time getting that i'm just gonna run past them and then on to the next area so there is a cutscene here it's easy you can miss it easily without going to the very top of the road 
um, it's just gonna show you a cutscene, which um, I'm gonna show you right now. Doesn't the cop look like the the one hanging on the Vámonos. the vampire? Andale. Okay. Andale, vamos. Wasn't there a song that said Andale, vamos, ia, ia, or something? I, I, I don't remember. I think it was song in the a song in the nineties. I'm gonna take care of you, Leon, don't worry. Okay, let's go. When you fight this boss long enough, it's... it... it... it I don't know. It loses its... Uh... Danger... I guess, I, I, I don't know. It, if you, like I said, if you fight this boss like multiple times like I have in the, few, in, in the past, you're, it, it's not... It's not gonna be that hard anymore. Okay, just combine a few. This is where the the fish would come in handy. Okay. So there's a save point um inside the shack. I'm just gonna save for good measure because I don't wanna start at the like the gate of the the area. So I'm just gonna save. One hour and 23 minutes, it's not bad. Yeah, there's actually um, an achievement. If you shoot the water like, rapidly with the, um, your gun, the El Lago is going to come out and eat you, and you're going to get an achievement for that. The first time I fought this... Um, this monster it it was really frightening because you no know, like it's it's new you don't know how to deal with it but yeah also this boss fight has kind of made me fear murky water even if i know it's shallow it, it's just i don't know like, there's a psychological effect like, even if i know that the water is shallow i'm just gonna be like afraid of it because something might come out of the water i mean i know it's silly but yeah um okay so strategies for this boss fight you need to go hard left or hard right that's it that's the only thing that you need to um remember once he goes um or he dives down just go hard left or hard right usually um i try to read where he goes so yeah once the once the music stops um ready your harpoon and just wait for the directional arrow to show you where he is so yeah there he goes i think it would take at least one or two hits um at the elago for him to go down and not like ram your boat yeah okay that was lucky and also um yeah so again hard right again, if you know his pattern it's not gonna be that hard you can even like throw a few jabs at him um, if he swims in in a clear area. If he like tries to, yeah, tries to like go under the breeze, like um, you know the floating things on the water. Again, just go hard right or hard left. Okay, so again the water, or the water, the the music stops. So just get ready and then. Just um, be aware of the directional arrow. It's 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 easy. Uh, yeah, I think one or two hits is gonna send him down. And again, just hard right or hard left. You're never gonna go wrong. Okay, yeah. So I think. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah yeah so steer clear if he does that because if you collide with those then that's gonna of course that's gonna tip your boat over 
Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. Okay, again. Hard right or hard left. That's that's the only strategy that I can actually tell you with this boss. And again, once the music stops, just get ready with your harpoon and follow the directional path. It's really that simple for this boss. Although a few hits once he actually just swims in clear area is not gonna hurt. So yeah, that's that's basically the boss fight for this guy. Um Yeah, I'm gonna say my farewells now because I'm gonna let the cutscene run and end the video after that. So um don't forget to like, share and subscribe because half of you aren't subscribed to the channel yet and I really would appreciate um subscribing to the channel you guys subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah i will see you on the next video bye, -bye.